Hello everybody, my name is Al from Sauber Lab and if you like Raspberry Pi, this video is for you. Why? Because in this video we're gonna use my Pi NAS and inside this box I have my Raspberry Pi 5 and I have a hat what allowed me to put at least four hard drives on the top of this and run my NAS system. On the previous video I show how to run OpenMediaVal and how it's work it with a more than one hard drive. But a long time that I don't use Umbrella OS, and in this video we're gonna use this application only because it's simple. They already have a pre installed system, you can install all our apps in a simple, easy way, only one click away, and that you can run those applications. And why not to try it with the new Raspberry Pi and see the performance? So, if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed. And Let's understand a little bit more about it. So as I told in the start of the video, what we want to do is to run Umbrella OS in Raspberry Pi 5. In this case, from the start of the video, I changed a little bit this hard drive. Why? Because I didn't try with more hard drives and once that I tried to do it, they didn't work. Basically, they didn't recognize two hard drives and that uh, I look a little bit online and I discovered that I need to do some extra configurations and uh, we're not gonna focus in this video. In the next video, we'll try to get a little bit more it explain step by step how to do it, but what we're gonna focus is how or why I should install Umbrella OS and if the Raspberry Pi 5 is better or not. First thing that we need to have in mind is that in one of my previous video, I show basically this picture where I explain how to install Umbrella OS in Raspberry Pi 4. From the 4 to 5 have a little bit of changes and we're gonna look for these changes, but uh, basically Umbrella OS it's a system that uh, just run. If I come here in this website for GitHub, I can see how Umbrella OS work and they say that Umbrella OS can be installed in Raspberry Pi 5 or in 86 system or either in a VM. Why I gonna install any 86? Because I will have my computer or my NUT or my NUC or whatever that I want with my hard drives running it and that's a basically simple configuration. But if you compare for a Raspberry Pi 5 and a 86 system, 86 potentially will have a little bit more power but will consume more energy considering that Raspberry Pi consume almost no energy and that uh, you can have uh, with those hats more than one hard drive, what will be the same for my 86 system. In a VM, I don't know why I'm gonna use a VM, unless you have a really valid reason, I don't think that's interesting to use any VM to run the system, considering that uh, you need to have a computer run with half of the power or some setup of the power only to do it. Unless you are using a Proxmox and that you have a reason for it to have more than one system running at the same time. Anyway, one of the good things for the Umbrella OS is the amount of application that you can access. If I come here, I can have productive application, media, bitcoins, and if you look, I have quite a lot. You have EIs, you have networks, social, and automation. If I come here for the apps, they will give a little bit more overview for the apps, what you have next cloud, what you can install. Uh, you can have uh, some EI system as a Llama, as a library translate, but what is really focused for this system is the Bitcoin. If you look here, the Bitcoin, they have a lot of applications and from the last time that I run it from now, they increase quite a lot of new apps, new system there. You can have wallets here, you can have some uh, nodes, you can have some uh, mines, you can have uh, a lot of different things, translators, and that's um, basically they are focused quite a lot in this system. But we're not gonna be focusing this. What we're gonna be focusing is how we can install this system. So if I come back in the page for GitHub, because I'm using Raspberry Pi 5, I will come here and run as a Raspberry Pi 5. And they say Umbrella OS, they advise to run in MFME or USB drive, but you also can run SD card and external storage. So you have those two options. They say that's not recommended it. I don't know why but they say that's not recommended. And here they say that uh, you have your Raspberry Pi and you need to have your power supply, your internet cable, and your MVME or external hard drive, 
what we show more or less how to install last time. But what we're going to focus this one will be to have a micro SD. In our case, we're going to use this one for 32 gigabytes. You need to have an external hard drive. What we're going to use this one in this video. Hopefully next video I can do a RAID and that we can check how it's working RAID and see a little bit more to use properly all the functionality from this hat because at the moment if I put in USB it will be exactly the same and I don't want it. And uh, here they will do step by step how to do. So first thing, you install or download this image. Once that you download this image, you need to open Balena Edge. Once that you open Balena Edge, you need to come here in Flash from File and you need to open or select this Umbrella OS. You need to unzip? No, because this system will be out to unzip your system, so you don't need to stress. Next stage, you need to select your target. In my case, it will be that SD card of uh, 32 GB. I will select it and put Flash. They will give uh, this notification that it will say that all my data will be raised. So now, what they're going to do? They will discompact all my data and then they will start to flash. This configuration could take up to 5-6 minutes, so let's wait this finish. Once that finish, what we can do is uh, to get my SD card, connect to my Raspberry Pi, have my head connect with only one hard drive. I tried with two, but didn't work. This hard drive needed to be formatted as a zero format. So if you use Windows, you put um, uh, clear and that is done, no format and that they will out format. If you use any other system, try to format it to be clean and that once that you format, you can connect this USB to your system and then you can run your system. So let's wait to this installation complete. Once that your flash drive have been flashed, what you need to do? You need to remove this SD card, you need to put in your Raspberry Pi, you need to put that external hard drive, in our case only one, and that uh, you need to connect the power and the network cable. Once that you connect the power network cable, you can come here in the bottom and here they advise that you need to open this link. Unless you know the IP address, I suggest you to put umbrella local and that uh, you have this page. This will be your first setup where you can put start. You can set up your user, so it will be Sauber Lab. Put your password, repeat your password, and now you can put next. And here you have your system. Let's close this one, and here you can start to install all the applications. Let's check one thing. If I come here, I have now 591 GB. Why? Because I have only one hard drive. If I have more hard drives, they will need to do some extra configuration, as I told. You need to format those hard drives, create some rates, do something different. But in this case, you have your SD where you have all the information and you have this hard drive that is have everything that you need to install it. So now what we can do, we can start to play with those applications. If I come here, self-host and put install. Now what we're going to do, they will install this application, this hard drive. What is interesting for you, they will give already the credentials. So if you need to have a standard login, they will give the user and the password for this application. And that's the ones that you open here, you can install it. Other thing that's really, really interesting is that if I come here with my application, sorry, here in applications, Bitcoin, as I told you, have a lots of different applications for Bitcoin. And the same way that you did before, you can click here and you can come here and install. You have a little bit overview, they describe what uh, they will do for you. You can have uh, other applications link for that uh, previous one. And now you're going to ask me, Alan, okay, you show me how I can install it. You show me how I can run this application. Let's say you can install different applications, I can run different things. But so far, what I can see, you still using local. And how I can external access it if uh, I have local. In the past, when I install last year, this Umbrella OS, the only way that I found was to come here, come in Tor access, enable the store, and that you could access it anywhere that you want. The only problem for the Tor option is that uh, if your computer don't have any Tor app or any Tor browser that support it, or if you're using your work and that uh, this work don't allow the browser using Tor, or at least a connection to Tor, they will not work the system. Basically, they will not uh, work at all. So what I can do against of it? 
simple with this new let's say with this update now if i come here and come here networks I have other applications that they can use exactly to have external access the first one will be the cloudfare tunnel and if i open here they will say that they can connect to my cloudfare tunnel i can use api and with this one i can basically use my cloudfare tunnel the same way that i used before i can create different websites with different pages and this way i can basically access all my configuration externally this one will be good because i don't need to do any port forwarding but if i want to do some port forwarding potentially get a little bit more of the speed i can use the nginx proxy manager and here i can do exactly the same way that i did in one of my previous videos i can have all my websites and here i can create my ssl certification and have access for it but if i don't want to open this page i only want to choose as a vpn it's simple you can use a time scale what you don't need to do any configuration do use everything to the website and use everything configuration to this uh, tail scale but if i want to chop some ports the best option will be WineGuard. what allowed me to go to this port i think that it's warning guard it's uh, 830 or something like it you have access with high speed for this uh, server we work really fast and one thing that's interesting all the time i can come here in my performance and with those applications now of course they i start to configure it and do something they don't use all my run memory or don't use all my cpu so in this way i have this system running with uh, less capacity with a more strong system with a properly active colon and i have more run memory out of the box and once that i install all the applications that i want i can only click in the application that i want run it the same way that you run run anywhere and you can run this umbrella os in the new raspberry pi 5. hopefully next video i will be able to show how you can create rate and other things if not, if it don't work, because I was looking and they say that it's complicated, sometimes work don't work. So if I don't feel that work really stable, I will not show the next video. If I think that work really stable, I will show. So if you guys like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like. Consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed and see you next time.